Fort St. James Secondary. I miss Deverson, the school counselor, and also the chemistry teacher. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we're unable to have you guys into the school for the grade seven tour. So we decided to create this video in a virtual tour of the high school. So that just to give you an, an insight into what it's gonna look like when you show up here in September. First off, let's start with the office and introduce you to everyone that's in there. Oh, there's Molly. That's our therapy dog. You'll get to see her next year. Come on in. So the first lady you're ever gonna meet is Miss Thiessen when you walk in the office. And she's the one that if you ever forget your locker combo, or if you don't know your schedule, or if you ever come in late and you need to sign in, or if you need to go home early and sign out, this is the lady you would come to see. Hello. Also, if you ever need to pay fees, you would come to see her as well. And then the lady over here is Ms. Rokratu. If you ever need anything, she can also help you out. This is also where Mr. and Mrs. or Mr. Houghton is and Miss Leatherdale. So let's go see if they're in. Hello, new grade eights. My name is Mr. Houghton, and I'm your new principal. I'm very excited to have you here as our new students, and I'd like to welcome you to probably the most exciting five years of your life. When you're here at Fort St. James Secondary, the more you put into your schooling here, the more you'll get out of it. There's so many exciting things to do here, from your academics to your athletics to the arts programs. You're just gonna have a wonderful time. So we look forward to seeing you in September. Have a wonderful summer. Hi, everybody, welcome. Uh, welcome to the high school. We can't wait to meet you in September and we're looking forward to seeing everybody and introducing ourselves in person. Uh, I hope that you're looking forward to coming here as much as we're looking forward to seeing you. Okay, as mentioned already, I'm the academic counselor and this is my office. I'm in charge of all the scheduling for every student. So if you ever need to make changes to your schedule, this is where you would come. Come on in and see my office. So every grade eight has to take the exact same classes. So you don't really get to make any changes to your schedule in grade eight, but you do in grade nine, 10, 11, and 12. The thing in high school though, is that if you fail a class in grade eight, especially a core subject, then you don't get to move on to the grade nine class. So say if you failed math eight, you have to repeat math eight. They don't put you in math nine. So these are very important things to remember. Make sure you work really hard at your studies and try and pass all your classes. The school year will be broken into two semesters. Semester one begins September 2021 and runs until January 2022, while semester two begins February 2022 and runs right till the end of the school year in June of 2022. In grade eight, your core subject areas such as math, English, social studies, science, and PE will run the whole year. In grade eight, both your semesters will look similar. In Block 1, English and Social Studies. In Block 2, your clusters. In Block 3, you'll have Science and Math. And in Block 4, PE. Your cluster subjects will begin with an intro of Grade 8 for approximately 10 weeks, followed by a rotation between Art and Computers for 10 weeks, French and First Nations for 10 weeks, and Woods and Foods for 10 weeks. This is what your schedule will look like when you receive it in the mail. Now let's take a tour of the school. So down this hallway are the two gyms, yes, we have two gyms, as well as the wood shop and the metal shop. There's also some bathrooms and one classroom. Come take a tour. This is the old gym. Come on in. So this is where the stage is, as well as the concession where you would get your breakfast program. Uh, you could also get your lunch in this room as well. Okay, let's go check out the metal and the wood shop. In our school, we have separate bathrooms for each cohort. So these two bathrooms are for the grades nines and tens. The wood shop and metal shop are side by side. Sometimes the teacher will actually let both classes run at the same time. So some kids will be doing woods while some kids will be doing metals. This is the metal shop. 
Down there is Mr. Souls. Hello, welcome to the metal shop and the automotive shop. The front half here, if you want to pan over, is the metal shop portion. And the back half, where those students are working, is the automotive portion. Uh, so in grade eight, you'll get to come into the metal shop and do a small metal project. And you were just in the carpentry shop, and in the carpentry shop, you'll also get to work and learn to use the machines and learn to, you know, act safely in the shops. There's one last room down this hallway, and it's the new gym. It's called the new gym because it was built recently, like in the 80s, whereas the other one was built probably in the 70s. Good morning, Great Sevens. This is Mr. Waddell speaking. I teach PE and I run all the athletics programs here at the high school. I just want to give you a heads up that we are planning for a full return of sports in September. And in September, we will have a sign up day where you can sign up for all the sports that you want to play. You will need PE strip in September. So if you are in PE, you need shorts or jogging pants, t shirts or long sleeve shirts, and a separate pair of shoes. And I just want you to have a great summer. And don't worry about high school. By week two, it'll be all good. Hey folks, so I'm Mr. James and I teach uh, a lot of grade eights at the high school. You'll probably see me in either your social studies eight, your English eight, your PE eight, your French eight. I think that's it. But I also run the travel club at the high school and we are hoping to get that back running uh, once all these travel restrictions are, uh, are over. So that's an opportunity as well at the high school that you should uh, definitely, definitely take advantage of if you want to want to see the world once it opens up again. So I look forward to seeing you all next year and uh, have a great summer. Okay, let's go check out the rest of the school. So down this way is the library, some washrooms, and then we'll take a tour upstairs. This is the library, and this is where you would sign out any textbooks. There's Mr. Hewen, hard at work. Hi there. <laughs> Anyone for a trip? <laughs> this is the grade eight washroom, so you guys get your own washroom next year. Boys and girls in our school will use the same washrooms. This is our janitor dairy, and this is the grade 11 and 12 washroom. Let's head on upstairs. So straight ahead is the First Nations room. Let's have a look inside. Zahundi Ipasanya, C. Carla Martinesto, La Silio Esto. I'm here teaching at the Fort St. James Secondary School. I teach the First Nation Studies 8 and the Carrier Language and Culture grades 8 to 12. Um, I am currently teaching around the DACAF history, the governance, the survival, the traditional territories, and of course the arts and crafts. I would love and I can't wait to meet you guys and I'd love to welcome you guys to the school for grade 8. Here's Ms. Fridgeman! So I am the youth worker at Fort St. James Secondary and this is my office. Um, I do lots of things here so I pretty much work for you guys. So you're really lucky anytime that you need help with anything, come and find me, I can help you. Another thing that we have here is breakfast that I do every morning. So we have free breakfast. Please enjoy our great cooking. And student council is another thing that we do have here at Fort St. James Secondary. So that is all our spirit week, all our fun things, fundraising, uh, what else is, what's that? Dances. Oh yeah, dances, when we get the head out back, fill up the bus, super fun things to keep uh, school spirit at Fort St. James Secondary alive. We love fall the spirit. Um, yeah, what else do I do around here? Oh, I am the Soji rep, so that is the sexual orientation and gender identity person along with Ms. Dimwoody. So any questions around that, um, you can come and talk to me. We have lots of groups and clubs and things that uh, you can belong to. So yeah, I think that's it. Jen can help you out with just about anything that you need. Even if you just need someone to talk to, this is where you would go. Yeah. Let's have a look at the art room.
Hi there, grade eights. Hi, I'm Mrs. Dinwiddie, and some of you I will be seeing a whole lot of your day in grade eight. So, some of you will have me for English, some of you will have me for social studies, and uh, everyone will be having me for art. And so we'll do all sorts of things like use pastels and paints and other messy things. It'll be great. So some of you poor, poor kids will have me literally for most of your day, and it'll be fine. Some of the other things that I do is uh, I teach you all sex ed, so look out for that. You'll be super thrilled about that. And I see a lot of you throughout my day because my classroom is also where your lockers are located, so I'm always happy to help you open your locker if you get stuck and you can't open it up. Okay, down this hallway, there's a few important classrooms. For those of you that have Ms. Vogel saying, her class is down here, as well as the computer classroom. Let's go have a look. This is kind of a neat classroom, because this is where you would go if you wanted to do a driving simulation. We have machines where you can learn how to drive, things like logging trucks or even a car. Mr. Vogelsang's classroom, and also the computer classroom. Hi, welcome to the computer lab. Um, it's actually photography class right now, so all the kids are out taking photos. But this is what the lab looks like. We have a 3D printer over there, and our drone stuff over here, camera stuff over here. We have 26 computers in here, and then we have another five in here with people working off on their own things. So. In my class, you can, in grade eight, you're gonna come and you're gonna learn a variety of different softwares and basic just computer literacy and computer um, digital literacy. And um, then you're gonna go off on your way of figuring out what you wanna do. Whether that's graphic design, whether that's filmmaking, whether that's interior design, whether that's Photoshop stuff, whether that's sketching, whatever you wanna do. That's what you're gonna do in here. Welcome, can't wait to see you. And right across the hall from Mr. V is Mrs. V. Hi everyone, I will teach you English and Social Studies 8 next year and my room is 203 if you need any help with anything else, I will make sure you get it. See you soon! Now let's head downstairs and check out the foods room and the different science rooms. Okay, this is the foods room. Let's go introduce you to Miss Dunn. Oh, there she is! Hi guys! I'm Miss Dunn. I'm going to teach you foods next year and hopefully I'll teach you some textiles and textile arts and crafts in grade 9, 10, 11, and 12. So have a good summer and we'll see you in the autumn. Right across from the foods room is my classroom. Um, I used to teach junior science but now I only teach senior chemistry. Have a look inside. You may or may not be doing a few labs in this room. Okay, and down this hall is where you'll find your science rooms. For those of you that have Miss Wenger, this is her room right here. Room 105, I think. Well, there's Miss Wenger. So she might be your science 8 teacher. that have Miss Boys, she's room 108, and this is where her room is. And then Mr. Moyer is just right through here. Hi future grade eights, my name is Mr. Moyer, and I teach grade eight math and science, and I think you'll enjoy it here at Fort St. James Secondary School, and I look forward to meeting you in the fall. Okay, let's head back upstairs. Okay, we're back to the office again. I hope you enjoyed our little tour. Um, I really look forward to seeing you guys in September, but now let's have a look and see what the typical day of a grade eight student looks like.
Okay, what surprised you guys the most about coming into the high school? The free food. Free food? Yeah. Good one. Anything else? It's not scary. Yeah, it's not as scary as it seems. Ah. Yeah. Freedom. 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 Freedom and how like, easy it was. How easy it was. What was your favorite part so far? Wood. Woods, 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 computers, uh, gym. Gym. Metals and boots. Okay, Going out for lunch. <laughs> Going out for lunch. Uh, what advice would you give the grade sevens coming into our high school? Keep your hallway clean. <laughs> Why? Because you don't want to get locked out. <laughs> don't don't stress about it. Don't stress about all the work. And any myths you would debunk? That it's hard. Like that, every day is hard and that is challenging. Yeah. And how scary it is. It's not scary. It's the work isn't as hard as it's going to seem. Good. Yeah. The vice principal isn't scary. The <laughs> vice principal isn't scary. Good one. Anything else? Great. Thanks, guys.